imagine. Imagine this was my dream, that people will start to love this building so much that they even bring their books from home to read them in this library. Martin Luther King and Mies van der Rohe. Everything we got from you was very well documented. But how to solve it? 1972 was the time that the people thought that the library was about books and tables and chairs. To renovate a monument into the library of the future, is that possible in this building? If you want a public library, a central public library to work, it should, be welcome. it should become a family destination. Even little kids should say, hey, I come in and it's very friendly. A library is maybe the most public building nowadays of all buildings in the city. A modern library needs a very welcoming entrance for all. Very transparent, with high visibility from inside and outside. Nice is very rational, and um, and I add a little bit emotional. <laughs> There's a totally different way of studying than 30 years ago. Individual, together, groups, launching, silent, but also very noisy. The silent li uh, library is a little bit fast. Libraries are not about the outside. It's what's inside the building. That's the library. And still, you want to celebrate the book, also in a classical way, somewhere in the building. Books don't like light. People like light. So put the people to the facade. It should be a space of inspiration. I think I'd really try to make what I said, make the building more human, maybe even giving it a more a female touch, if I can say so. <laughs> Imagine, these were just our first thoughts. We did it without you, without listening to you. This is what I can offer you. This is what I would love to do, to bring together what I call three important characters of Washington. The special spot on the grid you have, and the historical Ellicott map of Washington, respect pay respect to Miss van der Rohe and research what is possible to prepare this building for the library of the future. But most important, of course, the values, bring in the values of Martin Luther King. I know he's a hero in the United States. He's a hero in Washington. But realize, I'm just from a very small country in, in the Netherlands. He was or still is a hero also for me. And to make this building, to reflect his idea, would be my dream. This is what I can offer you, imagination. Thank you. <laughs>